So for our museum admission price program, we're offering the same discount to three different groups of people. People 15 years old or younger, greater than but not exactly 60 years old, and people who are students. We're having to repeat our discount three separate times, and in programming, it's always a good idea to reduce our repetitive code. And in this case, we can. Java gives us a way to get rid of repetition by combining each of these three checks into one larger test condition. We want to test all three conditions and apply the discount if a person matches any one of them. The condition we want to test is if a person is 15 years old or younger, or greater than 60 years old, or if that person is a student. And if they're any of these, we offer them the discount. We can form this larger test in Java by using logical operators. There are three main logical operators. AND, which is these two ampersand symbols, OR, which is these two straight lines, and NOT, an exclamation point, which may look familiar from how we checked if some value was not equal to something else. Both AND and OR operators combine two test conditions, or Boolean expressions, at a time into one larger expression, like IS3 less than 5 AND IS2 greater than 15. AND combinations like this one are only true when both tests it combines so the expressions to the left and to the right of the AND symbol are also true. In other words, it checks if the left and the right expressions are both true. So in this example, the test is 3 less than 5 is true. But on the right, 2 is not greater than 15, so this expression evaluates to false. And because just one of these expressions is false, this whole AND combination will evaluate to false. An OR operator also combines two tests, but will evaluate to true when one or both of its two expressions are true. So it checks if its left expression or if its right expression is true. And if at least one of them is, then the OR combination will also be true. So for the same combination of expressions, this one true and this one false, combined with an OR, this whole expression will evaluate to true. And finally, the NOT operator works on one test at a time, and negates whatever value it's applied to, which means that it turns a Boolean value or expression into its opposite value. For example, saying not 3 less than 5 is the same thing as saying not this true expression. And not true is equivalent to false, which this expression evaluates to. And we'll see more examples of these operators in action in a bit. And now, if we use these three operators to connect expressions, we can combine as many as we want into one larger test. And that's what we'll want to do for our museum code. In the case of our museum ticket discount, we're checking three separate test conditions. First, if someone's age is less than or equal to 15 years old. Then, if their age is greater than 60. And finally, if a person is a student. And we can combine all these conditions into one big Boolean expression by using two OR operators. These operators will say that if a single one of the age or student conditions is met, then we can apply the discount. And in code, that looks like this. Our first OR combines our two age conditions, and the second combines those with our student condition. And this checks if age is less than or equal to 15, or age is greater than 60, or if someone is a student. And if any one of those three conditions is true, we'll enter our IF block of code and set our ticket to a discount price of 5. And it's as simple as that. It's each of our previous conditions that we tested, separated by logical operators. And as long as each test condition is separated by an AND or an OR, you can create as long of tests as you want. Let's see some more examples of these combined test conditions to understand AND, OR, and NOT better.